All right, what's up guys? So this morning when I woke up, I checked two things. One, the swell. The swell was about two meters. And the second thing I checked were the tides as well. They were all over the place. So it really wasn't the good conditions to head out. There was one thing that we could do and that's go out and catch some squid. So that's exactly what we did. I've been feeding for some nice squid. So I thought, let's go head out. We'll do a bit of a catch and cook. I know Tiana's craving squid as well. So we went out, we accomplished our mission. It was an unreal day. We got some mad footage as well. So I hope you guys enjoy. I just want to say thanks for all the subs. We're nearly at 700, which is a massive milestone. I hope you enjoy the video. Take it easy, see you soon. I um, didn't tie up my rigs at home, so I'm gonna do it out here, which is good because I guess that allows me to go through it on the camera and show you guys exactly what I'm doing. So going with the basic squid rig. So this one here is a 2.2 in the pilchard color. This is actually one of my favorite squid jigs to use. Um, and I like to use it with a little weight, a little ball sinker, just like this one over here, just to get it at the bottom. And then I just chuck it over and we're just jigging it up really easily. So I'll tie that up now and I'll show you what the end product looks like. Here's your basic setup. It depends on the conditions as well and the depth that you're fishing in. If you're fishing like, couple of meters like five meters anything between like zero or obviously not zero but like you know one and five meters i wouldn't even bother with using um a little sinker but here we're fishing 10 10 meters at the moment so we want to get it down there we want it to stick to the bottom as well that's exactly where the grass is and that's where the squid like to sit as well just putting a little bit of scent on um i normally use sack scent actually my favorite type of scent that i use but this gold one works really well as well so there you go so just like that, chucking it out. Right, I'm gonna go through how to actually catch a squid now. Very straightforward. So like I said earlier, I've just got a little bore sinker to the squid jig with a bit of scent on it as well. You don't have to put scent on it, it's just preference. Cast it out. Now, the main thing you wanna see, this is especially when you're on a boat and even when you're land base as well, you wanna check the current. So you always want the jig to come towards you. If the current's pushing out that way, you're gonna jig it up, but it's actually, because the current's gonna be pushing up like that, it's not gonna drift down to the bottom, where for these jigs is exactly where you wanna be. So when it's coming towards you, it's actually pushing it down as well. And then you're winding in your slack, just giving it two little hops, letting it go all the way to the bottom. Now when your line goes slack, it means it's hit the bottom. One, two. Let it go all the way down. See, my line is nice and tense. It's tense, tense, tense. And there it's gone slack. So I've hit the bottom. Oh, and I'm on. Just like that. There we go, I'm on one. And that is exactly what you want to do to catch a squid. I haven't landed it yet, but it's still on. And you have to be really gentle as well. Just bring it in nice and slowly. Nice and slowly. Nearly there. And there it is right there. You can just see it. Oh, and it's got a friend with it as well. So, oh, it's got, I don't know if you guys can see that. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna land this one and then I'm gonna chuck my squid jig in there again there you go so i've caught one and they group they feed in groups as well so there you go beautiful beautiful little squid over there put it back in there and then you just want to drop that in there right there oh there you go and they're hitting it they're hitting it Oop, oh, there you go i'm on i'm on again there we go how good's that oh no i've dropped him i've dropped him that's all right there we go Oop. they're feeding there you go i'm on again i got him i got him and you really want to be as loose as you can on the drag as well. Oh no, I've dropped him. Oh no, it's all right. Oh, there's a fair bit of ink. I don't know if they're going to be able to see the squid, the squid jig. Oh, you're joking me. I had two and I dropped them both. That's all right, all good. But that's exactly how you catch a squid. Oh, wait a minute, is that one there? No, I can't see him. I think they've gone. Oh no. And this is the little squid that we just caught. Beautiful, beautiful squid. Very nice, very pretty. Sun's right up in the sky.
Oh, here we go. This is a nice squid. Beautiful squid, this one. Oh, here we go. What have we caught? Is this another cuttlefish? It's a nice one. Beautiful. And that one there was on the jig. Oh, hopefully we can hook, land him. Oh, wow. This is going to be a great squid. I can just tell. This might be the biggest of the day, actually. It's really gentle. It's got a bit of weight to it. Unless it's hooked itself really awkwardly. Oh, God, there it is. Oh, it's huge. It's massive. Big squid. Big squid. Oh, good squid. Oh, is that hooked? Oh, it's another cuddle. Oh, it's another cuddle. Come on, come on, mate. Nearly there, nearly there. It's another cuttlefish. How good. Oh, come on, mate. Oh, no, 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 don't get away from me. No, 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 stay, 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 stay. Stay, 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 stay. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Yes! Got him. Got him. How good's that? Second, the cuttlefish. Oh, yes. How good is that? The fish gods have opened up for us. Oh, mate, that's such a good cuddle. It's just holding on so tightly. There we go. All right, let's go. No, 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 come on, mate. I'm not trying to hurt you. There we go. How good. This has been an incredible session. Have a look at that. This is so pretty. So, so pretty. Beautiful. And that is there. Such a pretty cuttlefish. Beautiful, beautiful. So we've got our big, big cuttlefish, just up in there. We've got the smaller one that we caught not too long ago. And then we've got a nice sized, a palm sized squid. And then we've got this one over here, which is slightly bigger. Both lollipops, absolutely great baits. So we're gonna put this one back. You see this one over here, we, we don't need that many. So we're gonna actually release it. We're gonna hop in the water and I'm gonna actually gonna release it underwater. Do like a nice little underwater shot. Let's get in there. Our shirt off, got our Crocs off. I'm gonna go in there and we're gonna release this. There we go, guys. All right, so we're gonna go in there and release it. Hopefully you guys can hear me, but that was absolutely psycho. That was so cool. Got that little cuttlefish, got it back in the water, swam it off. Nice little swim off. Guys, so, so I just wanted to go to the next bit of the catch and cook. So we went out this morning, we caught some really good squid and some cuttlefish as well. We actually let one of the cuttlefish go. I showed that earlier in the clip. But essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook it up now. The ingredients today is just gonna be salt, sorry, pepper, some salt, some chili, some limes, some spring onion, and then also some plain flour as well. Right, so I've just skinned um, both squid and then the cuttlefish as well. That came out nicely. I did get a fair bit of ink on me, but I'll clean that off as well. So the next step now is what you want to do is you want to just get your ratio right in terms of salt and pepper. An equal part of pepper to salt. Very straightforward now. You're getting your, this is our cuttlefish, but calamari, just like that, like that, just like that, mixing it up and then mixing it here as well. Look at that. So that's already looking really nice. The flour. You want to put in as much as possible. Nice sizzle. Ooh, that's perfect. All right, so we'll put that on. And this process here only takes about a minute to two minutes. We just want to make sure like that it goes nice and golden color, and then we know it's cooked. Yeah, it's looking good. That's exactly what we want it to look like. So put that there. Put the chili flakes.
Yeah, cool. It's looking so good at the moment. Get all those little scraps off the pan, all that extra flavor. And then the last step. This is the most important one. Fresh lime. All right, guys. So we just come out in the backyard. Thought it'd be a little bit nicer than inside. Have a look at that. That's a dish. We're gonna get into it. Oh my god, that is so so good. I, I, I've got to have another piece. Have a look at that. Oh. That is probably the best squid I've ever had in my life. A bit of a bit of ramen with a bit of um, squid. Cool. Woo! That is so good. Oh my god. All right, guys. Well. I hope you enjoyed the video. That was my catch and cook. Out here, we made the fresh squid slash cuttlefish, and then also the ramen with the cuttle slash squid as well. Um, I hope you guys can copy this recipe. If you guys do copy it, chuck a comment and tell me if you enjoyed it, but that was unreal. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe as always, and thank you everyone for the 700 followers, or close to. All right, take it easy. Laters.